Recently, a chance upon Create, a takeout specializing in Korean street food. Now, there are plenty of Korean restaurants, but this is the first Korean street food takeout I have seen in Singapore. And so I decided to find out more and discover a nice little backstory behind this food joint. I was retrenched um, for about a year. I was jobless um, about in 2020. My savings are depleting and I thought I need to do something about it. Yeah, and since I can't find a job, then why not um, start a business, do something that I like? The idea for Create came after a visit Sebastian had made to Korea. Fortunately for Sebastian, he has an ex-colleague who shares his dreams and is a fantastic cook. So one fine day, I was out in the street and I met out with one of my ex-colleagues. So caught up with him and um, I know that he was retrenched as well. So I told him about the idea of, you know, of what I was thinking. You know, starting our business, starting out on food. Because um, I know that the both of us love to eat and we love food. So um, we sat down, we have a discussion, we have a talk about it. And <clears throat> we came up with the idea of Korean street food. I have always had a passion for cooking since young. So my mom kind of trained me since I was nine to start cooking my own meals. And that's where I started developing something, an uh, interest for cooking, I would say. Previously, I was in the um, hospitality industry as a business development manager for many years. Uh, so F&B is somehow not related to what I did in the past. But, well, we only live once. So if there's opportunity and the chance is there, why not take it, you know? Um, I think I have nothing to lose. It started as a make or break. Fingers crossed thing for them. And truth be told, it was very tough going. So we did research for about six months uh, through the internet for recipes um, through our Korean friends as well to get some of their uh, recipes from their moms or their family. And from there, right, we cook and we taste our own food. And after when we are confident enough, we send the food out to our families and friends for them to try and give us feedback. So there was this one night, we actually had a lot of food left and we decided to mix everything up together to try. And uh, it was the worst decision that we have made because uh, there's too many flavours going around and we ate so much that we wanted to puke. So we have been doing that for numerous times um, until you know, um, some of my friends doesn't want to reply us anymore saying that you know, they, are, they have enough Korean food right for, at least for a good next few years. Despite this setback, their passion to create delicious Korean street food remained strong. It is this determination that has turned their shared hope into reality. We have been uh, following closely on social media to see what's happening in Korea. So croffles, which is our new item, it's uh, very related now and uh, it is very popular in Korea. Street food, Korean street food has been around for a very long time as well. So we are keeping some items as a tradition and a staple to uh, what uh, Korean street food is all about. It is tough going for the two friends, but they accept that this is the reality of being in the food business. What keeps them going is their passion and to get to know customers who like what they do. Okay, so I bought this uh, Korean fried chicken, the sweet and spicy one, which is actually one of my favorite. So I keep coming back. I thought the marination and the way they fried it, the crispiness is actually go very, very well. So it's as close as I can get when I go to Korea and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think as any business owner, uh, I hope that people will come and try my food and they will love my food. So in that case, I will open more shops um, around Singapore. And eventually open more shops of different concepts so that people can actually enjoy street foods around the world created by the both of us. And to think, all this came about without having any prior knowledge into making Korean food. You know, both David and Sebastian, when left with a life-changing choice to make, dared to put all their eggs in a basket and took the plunge. To me, that takes a lot of courage and I salute them. Do tell me what you think and write in the comment section below. And do come down here to support them and show them some love. Because I'm telling you, uh, their food really is uh, Cincia Debak. This is City Joe Bruce at Crate for Singapore One.